So today I'm going to show you how you can use vidIQ to optimize your YouTube videos for search. Now I'm logged into vidIQ here and straight away uh, we've got like some basic ideas. Under daily ideas at the top here, when I'm logged into my vidIQ account, I've actually already got a bunch of ideas here that I can come to if I want to do that. But the main thing is if you're looking for something specific, a type of video you want to make, you can go up here to keywords and you can actually do some keyword research. Again, it's showing some opportunities here, but I usually recommend doing this before you start a video because you want to know generally the idea you're going in. So let's say I wanted to make a video on WordPress themes. I could do a search and under the keywords, related keywords, I have best WordPress themes, best free WordPress th themes. I can actually check out things like questions and it'll actually give me a bit of information on those words so i've actually got a video completely on keyword research i will link to in the description below but just to touch on it briefly if i view these keywords you'll see i've got a search volume for the month how much competition there is so very low competition 18 sort of thousand views per month so it's got a high score and i can simply just sort by score to see which one scores the highest in Vardo elements, people are searching for that up to 180,000 times a month and there's very low competition. So you can see that's a pretty good, uh, pretty in demand for YouTube and you could possibly make a video on that. But getting to the nitty gritty, this is just a blank video I've uploaded for the sake of this tutorial. So you can see it's not the same as the typical YouTube editor. Now remember, if you do want to get vidIQ, you can start for free and try it out. Otherwise, check out the link below if you want to get started on that. But uh, there's actually some AI title recommendations and extra panels on here that give you information about your video. And I'm going to touch on all of them very quickly, but the one I want to start with is while we're talking about getting keywords for our videos, is we can scroll down to where we have our tags. We can either type in a phrase there. So I'm going to say maybe this is a blur YouTube tutorial. I can type that in. It'll give me some recommendations. So I can say blur YouTube video. And then I can click on the little vidIQ logo. And you can see it has a pretty, pretty low score. But I can click on the vidIQ logo and get that same keyword research panel up. I can see the search volume, the competition, and I can go from there. But what I can also do if I don't want to go that way, I can just remove it. For one, if I have any templates, maybe I've got uh, a series I'm doing, I can actually save some tag templates in here. So I can go new template and save a bunch of templates for the future and save a bit of time. But uh, I can just go straight to the keyword inspector right from the video editor. So I click on that there and I can start doing my keyword research. So I'm gonna say we go here, blur face in video and I can do a search. What's really cool is, I can see that the competition is low. I get 1,100 views a month. Maybe I want to change the score around. It's not looking too great, but it says here how to blur faces and objects right within YouTube. So I can go through and add that tag in there. And I sort of use the tags as a starting point for my keywords if, uh, if I'm going from there. So what I can do now is I've got that. I want some related keywords. I can click on that and it'll actually bring up more ideas. Now you can see here, some of these aren't really matching up. So if I actually sort by, uh, look by the matching score, so 5.6, I can add that one in there. I can go through and use the matching score here to identify stuff that matches pretty close according to the algorithm. And I can go through and add my keywords in that way. And then when I'm done, simply go up the top and press the X. So you see, I've already got a bunch of tags that are searchable keywords. I understand that they're related. I know that this one has very low competition and I can even copy these tags to another video if I want to and go ahead and paste them quite easily. Another thing I can do is if I want to change the order, I can click organize tags and I can just move these around. So I can reorder these quite easily and click organize tags and get it within an order that I like. So now we're going to go back up to the start because I just want to touch on that keyword editor very quickly. Uh, one thing I will say is that if you actually have an existing video, I'll actually just switch to one for a moment. This is a video I have created. It's not very well optimized or it's optimized well enough. Uh, first of all, before I go any further, you can see here which devices this video is being viewed on and a bit of information about how it's performing. But the main thing I want to touch on is we got our usual panels, a bit of information here, including tags. But if I go into edit this video, and we go down to the tags section, which will take a minute to load. You can see here the score of the keyword I'm ranking for 
and the position it actually ranks for. So 60 means if you type in change Facebook page name, this video is actually number 60 in the search results. But for this particular phrase here, it's number one in the search results. So you can actually go back and see what uh, sort of results you're scoring for after the video has been published and after it's had a chance to grow a bit. But back to our new video. So I'm actually gonna take this keyword and I'm going to just click into it and I'm gonna copy and I can pop that into my title because once I have my keyword, I do want it to be somewhat present in the title. I also want it to be maybe in the first sentence of the description. So I've got like a title here, which I might tidy up a little bit. And if I want to, I can even get AI title recommendations. Now I'm only on a pro plan. So some of these features aren't available to me. You can see, see over here, it says upgrade to boost. But if I get an AI title recommendation, I have zero credits remaining. It would actually give me some recommendations for what I could make the title of the video, which is pretty handy. Uh, because I don't have boost, I only get a few sort of shots at that, which is why I have zero credits remaining. But you can see here, I've got how to blur faces and objects right within YouTube. So in the description, I can say something like learn how to blur within YouTube with this quick tutorial. And you'll see that now that phrase is in the title, it's in the first sentence of the description. And I can then go through if I want to and continue writing a description and throw in some of these related keywords if I want to as well. And that means I get to optimize my video for all these keywords. Trying to mention this maybe once or twice within the description because that is our main keyword. You want your main keyword to be the first in your tags. So once again, hit organize tags to move it into position if you have a main keyword that's not up near the start and you can start to sort of go from there. Now, where it gets really interesting with vidIQ is there's a few features as we scroll down. So as I scroll down here, I've got this panel here, what search term do you wanna rank for? We can paste our search term in there, and if you're using Boost, you can actually see how it appears against the other results. It'll create like a bit of a uh, fake set of results and you can see what your YouTube video thumbnail looks like and title and everything compared to the other results. Now, as we keep going, it also offers, if you are using Boost, a description recommendation as well. So you can actually even use it to help write your descriptions pretty quickly. So it can be a great time saver. But also we've got this panel here. It'll talk about when the best time to publish this video is. So when you're actually setting this up, you can go down to visibility and schedule. So let's say I wanna publish this. It looks like the best time apparently is, well, this is when I published the video, uh, but the best time, peak time is 12 to 2 a.m. As you can see here, this is our highest time. But what if I wanna post the video on Wednesday? then it says three to 5 a.m. is the best time. So I could cycle through, find the day, and maybe I go to visibility, go to schedule, and I select for Wednesday, the 20th, and I make it 3 a.m. And I can actually set that, schedule it, so that it posts at the right time, and I get the most bang for my buck timing-wise for when the video is published. And once again, we've got a few more things as we scroll down. You got your basic YouTube information. We have an SEO score box here, which is pretty cool. We are gonna come back to that in a minute. Otherwise, we have this other section here. Once again, if you have Boost, it can identify trending videos that you can go and sort of get a bit of information on and then sort of use that to either make a response video or even try and replicate yourself. So you can see we get all these additional tools right within our video editor that we can use, uh, especially these here. One thing I missed before is you can actually have recommended tags. You can just simply click to add those in as well. That's pretty easy. But that's about where the vidIQ tools end. So we come back up and this is where what we want to focus on. Now if I cut back to my other video for a second, you'll see here I've sort of more or less optimized this reasonably well. I've got a score of 70 out of 100 for the vidIQ SEO score because these are the things that vidIQ has identified as what people are searching for when trying to rank a video. So maybe I need to add more tags. I've got keywords in the description, five out of five, that's good. Tag volume is good. I've got uh, everything I need here, but the performance hasn't been great because I haven't got a lot of ranked tags, so I can check on that later. Now, the other thing is I can go to this checklist and I get a nice list of things to do to the actual video in order to improve uh, what 
well, you know, it's rank in search. So if I actually skip back, this is our new video, I can go through and it says here I've got one card. If I want to add a card to the video, all I need to do is scroll up here to cards and I can add in a card linking off to another video, which is cool. Add in an end screen. Again, just up here, your end screen can be added in. Because though this video is too short to add an end screen, but you can add a few videos at the end of your video. If you've added closed cap captions, that's pretty handy as well, which even automated ones I've found tends to tick sometimes. If you've got monetization on your site, you want that enabled, you wanna add it to a couple of playlists, and obviously you wanna make it public. This one actually isn't public, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a mistake there. And of course, you wanna share on Facebook and try and get one like. Even if you have to share it and ask a friend to like it or find some method of doing that, you can do that pretty quickly. And when you get your first comment, reply to that comment. And again, you can kind of, you know, try and get someone else to help you out and do that. So by using these little checklists here, you can actually rank your video by sort of completing and making it more sort of well-structured. And like I said, pop those keywords in the title and in the description. And I've got one more tip, which is try to see if there's other videos in the niche that you can get some information from. And you can use vidIQ to do that too. So you're gonna to wanna to learn how to spy on your competition using vidIQ. And I've got a video card on the screen right now if you wanna check that out and learn how to do that also. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.